Louisville is close to firing two police detectives for their roles in the Breonna Taylor case. Taylor was killed in a botched police raid in March. Detective Joshua Jans, Jans rather, obtained the search warrant but was not present during the raid. Detectives Miles Cosgrove fired the shot that killed Taylor. We spoke to an attorney for the Taylor family who is asking for even stronger action. And in that deal world, all of the officers will be charged at this point. Lawyer Lanita Baker represents Brianna Taylor's mother, Tamika Palmer. She says terminating the officers responsible for the 26-year-old's death is not enough. At a minimum, Detective Jane should be charged with perjury uh, and uh, Miles Cosgrove with the murder of Brianna Taylor. Attorneys for both detectives confirmed they received pre-termination letters from Louisville police. CBS News obtained a copy of Jane's letter signed by interim police chief Yvette Gentry. She says he lied on the search warrant application about having information from a postal inspector that Taylor's ex-boyfriend had been receiving packages at Taylor's apartment. The ex-boyfriend was the subject of a drug investigation. Jane's lawyer, Thomas Clay, spoke to CBS News by phone. The allegations against him are unfounded. Chief Gentry also cites Jane's role in planning the raid. The letter states, because the operation's plan was not completed properly, a very dangerous situation was created for all parties involved. It was done with the full advice and consent of the chain of command of the Louisville Metro Police Department. It's unclear what Cosgrove's letter detailed, but a police department source tells CBS News he is being fired for violating the deadly force policy. Cosgrove fired 16 shots into Taylor's dark apartment during the March raid. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron says evidence showed he fired the fatal shot that killed Taylor. He couldn't hear, couldn't see, but yet uh, he was firing. Both detectives are scheduled for a hearing with Gentry. A source also tells us three other officers are expected to face suspensions. And the only other officer involved in Taylor's death who was fired is Brett Hakinson. He was later indicted for shooting into a neighboring apartment that night. He has pleaded not guilty. You know, this is a case that we continue to cover. Adriana, you were down there. I was down there. You've, you know, we've talked about this story earlier, but uh, it's, it's not easy. You know, the community is still hurting, uh, and many people want answers. It's so they want someone to be held accountable. They do. There's still a federal investigation, we should say, so Correct. we'll see where that leads. Thank you for the update on the reporting. Yeah.